Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator Mods, News, Add-ons, and Tools. And today we're going to be updating some add-ons and I figured I would share the big ones with you guys. So first of all, the CJ4 version 8.3 is out. All three of these are going to be a working title. And actually I think it's four of them that we're going to be looking at here. Um, and uh, you guys are going to want to make sure to grab these. These are all incredible enhancements to the aircraft and the systems. So there's the CJ4. We're going to go back to releases. And all the links will be in the description below. And the link in the description below will take you to this page here. It's just the releases page, and you just scroll down and find the one you're looking for. So we want the GX. Okay, and again, working title. Back again. G3000 version 3.4, bunch of new additions and fixes. So we want the G3000. And the same thing, they have the G1000 if we scroll down further. G1000 version 3.4. I actually didn't need to go into each page, but they're all right here at the links. Um, but anyway, so those are those. And now let's go ahead and check on a few others. And the next one that received an update today is the DA62. So let's go ahead and grab that. Again, links in the description below, and you guys are welcome to read the, read the release notes if I can talk. Or you guys are welcome to pause the screen here. Alright. Let's keep moving. And almost done on our list today here, but the next one here is going to be Luke Air Tool. Luke Air Tool actually went through a couple of big changes this week. Um, we can see here on the 19th, you've got the new UI, minimize buttons added, and a bunch of other fixes and adjustments that I'll let you guys read through at, at your leisure. Again, link will be in the description below, but this is another really cool add-on to have, especially if you guys are looking for something that's free and offers some uh, better immersion to the um, simulator. Now, it does also have some payware attachment to it, some subscription information, um, but obviously with the subscription increases the... Um, functionality of it it's a pretty awesome software it really is um, I highly recommend it if you especially if you guys fly airliners all right and finally last on our list is the fly-by-wire a320 so let's go ahead and get that going I run the development version um, went through some pretty serious updates um, especially given the updates that just the simulator went through so um, again pretty awesome uh, with the fixes to all the airliners, guys, we're going to be doing a lot more airline traffic here pretty quick, too, um, as soon as we get some of these guides done. Um, with that being said, if you guys are interested in learning how to fly the A320, please look, check the links in the description below. You guys can either join my Patreon site or you guys can uh, with a super, join the Patreon site with Tier 2 or more or donate $10 or more to the channel via the PayPal link found in the description below. Um, and I will send you a very detailed A320 guide. It walks you through literally everything to downloading and installing the fly-by-wire mod all the way to creating your flight plan and sim brief, which is free, all the way to starting the aircraft cockpit tour you name it um and shutting the aircraft down at los angeles the flight is from tucson arizona to los angeles california um, it's about 40 minutes of flight time um, and i go through literally everything i did step by step by step if i hit a button or a switch during that flight or made an adjustment or anything of that nature it's in the guide all right so anyway if you guys are interested in that link in the description below all right, so there's all of our adjustments. Now we need to find what I need here. Where did it go? That's interesting. Applications, Microsoft applications. Now we're going to find our add-ons linker. bring it over here and we're going to clear all of our current add-ons out and then update everything so what I'm going to do next is go back one MSFS 2020 mod so we're replacing this we're replacing this we're replacing this and actually the TBM 930 is not working title I didn't mean to title it like that that is incorrect Unfortunately, I wish, I hope TBM or wish working title would take this one over. Um, the guy who was working on the TBM unfortunately had to stop due to work restrictions and uh, new environment. Just, he wasn't able to continue flying, which is never a good thing. 
Um, so let's go ahead and begin. So I'm just going to unzip these. Oh, that's a patch hotfix. Mm. Well, we'll hope the full version's there. Because I don't have the original in there. Well, no, never mind. I know it has to be there. It's a single link. There weren't multiple links to it, so. But we'll leave that one in just like that. Again, open the folder. And this is actually what we want, but I love that he does all that. So we need to put just this guy in here. But then we'll keep all this stuff, because this is great. He comes with, uh, he's really done a great job. Familiarization guide for the DA62. If this is something you guys are interested in, let me back that up a little bit. Um, walks you through everything step by step to G1000. Gives you guys an idea of some of the performance. Just a nice start. Nice to have it. All right, so let's go ahead and move that one off to the side here. Got our DA62 in there. I'm going to pull that one out. Delete the zip. I don't need that anymore. And now let's get the rest of our stuff here. And the nice thing about the G1000s and everything is these guys just zip everything. It's a single stop. So there's the G1000 in there. Delete. Oop, that's not what I wanted to hit. Extract here. There's the 3000. Extract here. There's the GX. We can take these guys, clear them out. And just double check that one. And drop them in. Oh, yeah, because I already had the G1000 in there. Oops. All right. And we can clear these out. Those are all copied in and done. And the air tool, do the same thing, unzip it. Oh, glad I, that was the only thing in the folder. Oops. All right, so let's do this. New folder. And we want air tool. And now we just copy all this and drop it in there. We'll give this guy a cut. Go back to my applications. We'll delete this one and add this one. All right, and let's check out. I mean, I'm kind of curious what the new UI looks like, so let's just look at it. I don't know why you had to do that. Anyway, click here if auto hide didn't work. Connection established. All right, well. All right, so again, you need to register if you guys want to use some of the advanced features of the tool. They really did do a good job with the UI here. Let's go to settings and tools, see what we got here. Count, app, audio, update, that's kind of cool. Current symbol. Not sure what these are. Leave it as is for now. Uh, let's see here. Pack sim background color. Oh, cool. Hmm. And let's go to, is there an update? And you guys can donate to it. This is a really neat program. It really is. Got a website, a Discord, Facebook, FlightSim.2. It's good stuff. Your office coming in 2021. I wonder what that's about. That's kind of neat. Let's go to announcements. Cool. All right. Anyway, so if if you haven't seen this before, it's a pretty pretty neat little tool. So, for example, let's see what we got here. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be passing through with food and drink. Please check the magazine in front of you for the full menu as well as our duty-free offers. Thank you. That one doesn't seem to do anything. Is it playing? Hello everyone, thank you for your attendance. It's time to get you ready for takeoff. Anyway, so it does things like that. It's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and stop it. I wonder if you actually have to be in the flight for that. Anyway. So, just adds a bit of immersion, kind of fun little tool. Um, I do recommend you guys register. Um, I'll enter all that information in later. For right now, I just want to get things rolling. 
And now let's just go ahead and update our mods. So now that we've got our new mods in there, it's just a matter of bringing them back in. So there's a CJ4, G1000, G3000, the improved physics. Although why are those not turning green? What's going on there? Let's check the packages folder. Well, they're there. Not sure why they're turning red like that, but they're there. Huh. When were those added? 1223. And you can tell, that's all it does. It creates a shortcut link to the to the folder. That works, by the way. So if you have your mod stored on a different drive, you can just create a shortcut versus copying the actual um, information over. And that works the same way. All right. So that is it for today's updates, mods, tools, and add-ons, guys. A link to everything that you've seen will be in the description below. So um, keep an eye out, obviously, with the latest update. There's going to be a ton of things updating, I'm sure. So I will keep you guys posted as information comes to me. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, folks.